so hi everyone this is ECU Wood and in this guide uh, we introduce the uh, local interconnect network LIN protocol basics include LIN versus CAN uh, the use cases and how LIN works note this is a uh, practical intro so uh, we will also look at the basic of LIN bus data poles so keep watching to uh, fully understand the LIN protocol so first of all what is LIN bus? Linbus is a supplement to Canbus. It offers low performance and reliability, but also drastically lower cost. In the following, we list some of the key facts about the Lin protocol. First, Lin is a low cost option, ideal when speed and fault tolerance are not critical. It is often used in vehicles for windows, wipers, air conditions, and etc. Lean clusters consist of one master and up to 16 slave nodes. So uh, the Lean protocol uses the time trigger scheduling with a guaranteed latency time. Lins also support error detections, checksums and configurations. And finally, Lean supports sleep mode and wake up. So uh, it is often useful to compare Lean bus versus CAN bus. In the following, we'll list some of the key differences. LIN is generally lower cost than CAN bus, uh, they use less harness, uh, no license fee, and cheap notes. Uh, CAN uses twisted shielded dual wires of 5 volts versus the LIN single wire of 12 volts. A LIN master typically serves as a gateway to the CAN bus, and the LIN is deterministic rather than event driven. Moreover, LIN cluster have a single master while CAN bus can have multiple. In short, LIN bus offer a useful alternative to CAN bus that can serve different use cases. So uh, to better understanding how LIN bus is used in practice, uh, let's look at the real LIN applications. These include various automotive use cases like the following. The steering wheel cluster can include cruise control, wiper, climate control and radio. A comfort cluster may include sensor for temperature, sunroof, light and humidity. The powertrain can include sensor for positions, speed or pressure. An engine cluster may include small motors, for example uh, cooling fan motors. Uh, the air conditions may involve motors and the control panel which can often be complex. In a car door, a cluster may involve side mirrors, windows, seat controls, and locks. In a seat, a cluster may involve position motors or pressure sensor, while other automotive use cases include window wipers, rain sensor, headlights, and airflow. Well, to uh, better understand this functionality, let's look at the how the Lin bus works. So, uh, a Lin bus at its core is relatively simple. A master node loops through each of the slave nodes, sending a request for information, and each slave responds with data when polled. However, with its specification update, new features have been added to the LIN specifications and making it more complex. So in the next step, I'm going to demonstrate how to measure the LIN signal that coming right out of our ECM. As you can see, this is our wiring diagram. And according to the wiring diagram, our lens signals is coming from the ECM to the G2, which is our alternators. And to capture lens signal, we have to turn on our ignitions, and this is our result. So uh, for a uh, better picture, um, uh, measure the, uh, the voltage on the lens bus to see what it is. So as you can see, uh, the voltage on the LIN bus is approximately uh, 9 volt. Uh, if the specified uh, values will be between 9 to 11 volt. So uh, to recap, uh, in this video, we have shown you what is LIN bus and how to uh, measure it right on our uh, Mercedes E200 W212. 
uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact us and we will help you as soon as possible. Till then, we will hope you enjoy today's videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.